In this tutorial, we will learn how to select a cell, how to enter text using the keyboard and the autofill capability, how to change cell formatting, how to insert and delete cells, columns, and rows. We will also review some of the keyboard shortcuts we learned in our earlier PowerPoint. At the end of this tutorial, you should be able to download the homework file and make the requested changes to it without any trouble. If you find yourself getting lost, just come back to the video or visit the help link listed below the video. Let's begin by having Excel 2010 open on our computer. I first need to open a file for modification. I can do that by clicking on the File tab in the upper left hand corner of the ribbon. And I will then select my file, Demo File 1, um, from the list and double click it to open it for editing. This file is not very pretty. Um, some of the text is too wide to be displayed in the columns. Um, and we need to add some components to it and change some things to make it ready for data later on. Um, let's begin by selecting a cell. Um, if we click in cell A1, which is the cell at the intersection of column A, which you see highlighted, and row 1, um, we can select the entire row by clicking on the 1. We can select the entire column by clicking on the A. Um, now the column width is not wide enough to display this column header right here, so we need to widen the column, and there are a couple of different ways we can do that. Um, first we can just hold your cursor over the line between the A and the B until it turns to a vertical black line with horizontal arrows going in either direction. You're just going to hold your left mouse button down and drag it to the right to widen the column. Um, another way we can widen the column and is to select the column by clicking on the column letterhead and then right click to open up the menu and select column width. You can manually enter a number in here, say 15, and hit the enter button and it will widen your column to width of 15. Um, an easier way to do it, a more accurate way to do it, uh, is to select your column, hold your cursor over the line in between the two columns until it changes to the horizontal black line and then just double click that line and Excel will automatically make that column wide enough to display the widest text that you have in that column and we'll do it again with column F. Alright, so now um, we know that we can click on a cell to select it and we can click on multiple cells by clicking with our left mouse and just dragging all the way down. So right now we're going to select these numbers under the points earned column of um, our, our table here. <clears throat> we want to change this from the general formatting that it automatically receives to a number format. So we're going to right click and choose format cells from the menu that pops up. We are going to choose number under the number tab in the categories. And we're just going to take it down to zero decimal places because we don't want it to display any decimal places for this particular project and click OK. We are going to do the same thing under the points earned column. I'm just going to right click, format cells, we're on the number tab, we're going to select number from the category, reduce our decimal places to zero. There are some other categories here that you can look at. Um, you can change it to currency which would display with a dollar sign, um, accounting, dates, uh, you can select your date formats if you scroll through here and make it any date you want, times, percentages, uh, fractions, but for this particular um, project we're just going to use the number and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to use this file later on so we want to add um, another column to it uh, that we will use at a later project but we can we can do it now. Um, so we want to insert the column right here so I'm going to click on the D to select the D column and I'm going to right click to bring up the menu and just click insert and what that's going to do is to insert a column directly to the left of the D. Um, I'm going to select cell D1 and I'm going to enter student ID because that is the header I want for this column. It's not quite wide enough. I'm going to double click to auto wide it and then I want to enter an ID number, a unique ID number for each student record in here. So I'm going to select cell D2. I'm going to enter the number 1 on my keypad and hit the enter button and then I'm going to hit the number 2 and so on. I'm going to hit the number 3. Now one of the useful features in Excel is that once you've got a pattern established for data entry, you can autofill um, using that pattern. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select cell D1, hold down my left mouse button, and drag down to select the next two cells. Then I'm going to hold my cursor over the black box in the lower right hand corner until it turns into a small black crosshair. And then I'm going to press my left mouse key again and drag it all the way down. And what happens is, you can see, is that it has, if we scroll back up, it has auto-filled um, all of my records for me so I don't have to sit here and type out 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, I went a little overboard here <laughs> and scrolled down a little too far, so we're just going to go ahead and delete the extra numbers. So again, I'm going to select multiple numbers by selecting on the cell and just dragging all the way back up to where I want to delete to. So we'll go right back to this 21. Um, now I can push delete on my keyboard, that will empty all these cells. Another way you can do it is to right click and choose delete. Um, Excel is going to ask you how you want to shift the cells underneath it. Um, so I'm just going to leave this default because all these cells are blank. And I'm going to click the OK button and that gets rid of all that extra data that we didn't need. Um, now ideally um, the student ID column for my purposes later on uh, we're going to want that to be all the way over on the left. So we're going to use one of our keyboard shortcuts that we talked about earlier, the control X, to move it from where it's at um, to column A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on column D to highlight the whole thing. And then I'm going to hold down the control key, which is in the lower left hand corner of my keyboard. And I'm going to press the X key at the same time. You see this moving dotted line around it? That means that I have um, cut that data and it is available on the clipboard for pasting. To paste it, I'm going to, I want to put it to the left of column A, so I'm going to select column A by clicking on the A. And then I'm going to right click to bring up the menu and I'm going to choose insert cut cells. And so now my student ID appears to the left of my student name in my table. I've got two different um, sets of data in this worksheet, um, which is entitled VLOOKUP down at the bottom. Uh, I want to give each one of these sets of data a title. So to do that, I'm just going to add a row header. So I'm going to select the number one to highlight the entire row. I'm going to right click and choose insert from the pop-up menu. Now, um, to make things nice and neat, uh, we can merge these cells and center the, date, the, the title over them by highlighting all four of the cells and clicking this button up here um, in the alignment group. Uh, it is the merge and center button. So I'm just going to click that button. And what that has done is combined all four of these cells into one cell and centered the text in the middle of that cell. I'm going to type um, student grades. That's what I'm going to call this particular set of data here. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click my Merge and Center. And I'm going to change this to say Grading Scale. And that's what this actual set of data is. Now, this is probably not the best header for this set of data right here, this column right here. So to avoid any confusion, we're going to change that to say Letter grade and I do that just by selecting the cell and typing right over top of it hit the enter key and it the text is rendered into that cell the data is rendered into that cell um, now future time we will use this same file to populate this grade column um, using a function called vlookup um, but for the purpose of trying out some keyboard shortcuts what we're going to do right now is um, learn how to select multiple cells at one time that are not adjacent to each other. Adjacent cells you can just hold and drag and select a whole bunch of them. You can't do that with cells that are not adjacent to each other. So uh, what I want to do is we're going to fill out everybody that's earned an A, we're going to put their letter grade in there for them. So I'm going to select the A cell and I'm just going to use my keyboard and I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the CT key at the same time to copy that A to my clipboard. And so what I want to do is select the people who have earned A's, which is anything 93 and over, and paste that A grade into their grade cell. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Here's a 98. So I'm going to select that. Now to keep scrolling down and select the next, the next A grade, which would be this 96 right here, I'm going to hold down my control key 
and select that cell and the next cell underneath it and then I'm going to skip down um, and select the 95 cell. So now you can see they're highlighted in blue. Um, I've got all of these cells highlighted at the same time, so I can execute the same thing to all of these cells at the same time. So I'm just going to right click on one of these cells and I'm going to click the paste special button and I'm just going to choose the paste clipboard. And so now all of the people who have an A um, have been had their grade entered in the column. Um, you can do that with the rest of these grades as well. That's just a demonstration. Um, so you've learned how to select one cell, select multiple cells that are adjacent to each other. You can select um, cells that are non-adjacent by holding down the control key and selecting them. You've learned how to uh, change column widths. And change those back. Change that back to 8.43, that's the default. Um, you've learned how to insert a column, you've learned how to delete, um, and you've learned how to do the same thing with rows and how to copy and paste. Um, and I think that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, you should be able to download the homework file and make the modifications um, indicated. If you have any problems, you can come back and um, look at this video again. Thanks for watching, and that's all we have for right now.